Clipchamp Create. Hello, Kinesiology for Clipchamp Create. Uh, my name is Julia, and for our uh, assessing muscular fitness asse um, assignment, I'm going to cover the Sarman test for core stability. Clipchamp Create. Um, Sarman test was developed in 2002 by Shirley Sarman. She is actually a, a physical therapist to assess your core stability. So a lot of time when people think about core, Clip they think about create. Tack abs, which is actually just your rectus abdominis, so kind of the most superficial. Um, and this test is meant to actually assess your deepest core stabilizer. So specifically Clip the create. transverse abdominis, which is kind of like that corset that goes around the center of your body. And also the multifid multifidus, um, which is going to be a really deep spinal Clip stabilizer. Create. So just like with any of your other fitness assessments, um, you want to make sure that you're just kind of screening your clients beforehand. Click champ sure create. Any health risks. Just because your client is young or they look like they're in shape doesn't mean that they don't necessarily have an underlying problem. So just to make it nice and simple, I'm going to have a little park you here. Um, nothing too interesting going on with that. Pretty straightforward. Click champ create. And because this test does involve a good amount of isometric contraction, so obviously a contraction where you hold it in place, Clip it's not create. a bad idea to take a blood pressure for this test as well, so just something that you can think about. Um, one of the things that can be dangerous for somebody with hypertension is the valsalvin when you hold your breath. It As you get your client set up to um, run this assessment, once they're in the hook line position from supine, once they're on their yoga Clip mat or that table, it's very important um, to instruct them to really engage the transverse abdominis to find that neutral. So a really great cue for that is to Clip the draw the belly button in and then up. Um, otherwise, you can always have them kind of place their hands on the insides of their hip bones and really feel for that contraction um, Clip with a big breath out or kind of a cough, and that's what you're looking for. And it's also very important as you're going through the test to instruct your clients to continue to breathe. Um, this is anything Clip I create. Smashed, is going to be really, really easy to hold your breath, and then that's just going to make it much more difficult. So make sure that you keep those points in mind when you're giving somebody this test. Clip Champ Create. Clip Champ Create. Okay. So to start. You'll just have your client go ahead and lie flat on your surface, whether that's your yoga mat or your mat table, whatever you have available. Clip champ create. And from there, have your client find a place where their spine is nice and neutral. So instead of too much anterior pelvic tilt, you want it to be able a comfortable position where they continue to kind of Clip champ create. Um, keep the bracing of their abdo abdomen, um, abdominal muscles. Um, once they've found that, have them tighten up and hold it. A lot of the tests will have you, Clip champ create. Um, the client slide their hands underneath. That way you can tell if you lose some of that. Um, for our purposes, I'm actually going to use a blood pressure cuff here. Clip champ create. It'll give you a more objective, more certain way to know whether or not you're losing that pressure. Um, the hands underneath relies a lot on sensation and a lot on kind of awareness that might not necessarily Clip champ be. create. So to do that, just really simple, slide it right underneath you. Clip champ create. Go ahead and inflate it until it's got a, a good amount of pressure in it. And then find your abdominal. Clip brace. champ create. So with that brace, I am putting 45 milligrams of mercury in pressure there. So throughout the whole test, I need Clip to champ create. that. Otherwise, I can't qualify to move to the next level. So this is your starting position in the hook line. So knees flexed. Knees flexed. Clip champ flexed, create. Feet down on the ground. Clip champ create. Let's start level one, keeping that same pressure. Lift up one heel and bring the knee to just Clip above, champ create. Just above your hip, so you want 100 degrees of hip flexion. And keep that pressure with the other foot up. And this is your level one. So this Clip champ level create. this position is where you'll start all the other levels from. Um, to test for level two, 
You want to keep your same core engagement, so same Clip belly button create. down to your spine. It's really important to cue your client through that. Clip champ create. And from there, you just lower one leg, keeping that engagement lower carefully. Tap the heel down. Clip champ create. Straighten out the leg. Make sure that all that stays consistent. I've actually lost a little bit of pressure here. Straight, bend the knee back. Clip champ create. And come back to the starting position. And to really be thorough, you'll have them do that same thing with the other side, keeping the pressure exactly like it is. Clip heel champ down, create. Heel against the ground when you slide out. Come back, bend the knee, and back to your starting position. Clip champ create. Clip champ create. And so for level three, we have them keep that same engagement. Um, it's just going to be an up level on that. And they'll start to tap Clip the champ heel create. down. Instead of bringing it actually to the ground, you want to hover it about 12 centimeters away from the ground. And from there, straighten it up. Clip champ create. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And then come back in. And the same thing. Clip champ create. You do that with the other leg. Bend your knee. Keep the knee bent. Straighten it up. Keep your pressure. Make sure you're checking that. Clip champ create. Come back. And you can move from here. Clip champ create. And so for level four, Clip champ create. You're going to move both legs at once. And keep your pressure, have them maintain that contraction, and then slowly lower both legs until your heels make it Clip down champ to the create. Ground. And from here, straighten both legs out. And bend your knees back. And Clip champ back create. Back. Clip champ create. And for level five, it'll be your progression on your level three, right? So same thing, but with both legs. Clip champ create. Go ahead and bring your heels down just a touch until you have that 12 centimeter from the ground mark. And straighten your legs out. Keep that good hover of the heel. Clip champ create. Bend your knees back. And come all the way back to your starting position. The Clip end champ position create. Of level one. So you have your different le uh, levels that kind of correlate to grades of the test. Um, the test is really primarily used to kind of provide a reference for how your client may be progressing with their strength. Um, otherwise, it's a really nice way to kind of progress how they may be ready for a certain exercise program or a certain protocol. So that's kind of the frame of reference for the assessment itself. So thank you so much for watching. Um, Comment if you have any questions, um, any feedback, anything like that. And I definitely am looking forward to see what you all have to offer. Thank you.